Hi there and welcome back. This is Ash from Fetch Profits. MailChimp recently launched a way for you to tag your customers, which is a lightweight way to organize your subscribers, segments and groups inside MailChimp. Now, this is long due. Other popular email marketing providers like Drip and ConvertKit already had this feature, but MailChimp did not. If you wanted a way to segment your subscriber list, say based on what they signed up for or the source of the sign up, or if they are customers or if they were free trial users versus users of a paid plan, you would have to maintain separate lists in MailChimp earlier. Uh, or the most you could do was to segment your customers or to have them in groups inside MailChimp. Now, there's another way to organize your subscribers and that is to use tags. For a long time now, the only way to work with MailChimp for such use cases was to use multiple lists, but now you have tags. Tags allow you to well tag your email subscribers depending on their behavior, sign up source, date or what have you. In fact, you could have multiple tags assigned to each customer. You can have granular control on your list. So if there is a sign up who signed up and then became a customer of one product but not of the other product, you could tag them likewise. Now earlier, if you remember, MailChimp had static segments and groups. Now all of those were comprehensive ways of segmenting or grouping your subscribers together. So if there was a customer in a, in a particular list, he cannot be a part of another list. If he was, then you would still have to send a separate email out to that particular customer just to address that customer in that list. Sounds confusing? Welcome to the club. So tags are much more easier to deal with, to manage, to apply and to remove. So wait, but why bother with tags at all? So tags allow you to make sure that your email lists are clearly demarcated as such. That means you can have tags that say that a particular sign up is a lead or a subscriber or a customer or a customer who purchased more than $100 or a loyal customer or an affiliate or a partner, etc. Tagging also gives you more control on the email messages you finally send out. Depending on how you tag customers, the kind of granular control you have on the, what kind of messages they receive is, is very high. And that's the reason why popular email providers like Drip and ConvertKit do so well in the market because there is that tagging system available. If you can imagine this particular scenario where you have a blog and you have call to action buttons in the middle of your blog, at the end of your blog post, you could be giving out things like content upgrades. So you might have a way to tag people based on what kind of a content upgrade they downloaded or what kind of page they visited or what kind of products they bought or the number of products they bought or the actual dollar value of the products they bought. You could have such granular control thanks to tags. So finally, tags give you focus and relevance, which is all that matters today in email marketing. So how do you do this? So let's find to out. create tags, you need to first get to lists. Click on lists and you will find the list of lists that you have on MailChimp. Click on the particular list that you want to work with. After you click on that list, you have a way of segmenting customers first. So you need to first segment customers before you tag them. So I want to create a new segment. First, I'll create a new segment. In this particular list, I want you to notice that I have a list of all the people who ever subscribed to FunnelServe, which is my e-commerce store on Shopify that sells landing page templates. Now, a lot of people have just signed up as a free member and some people have actually purchased products from the store. And now there is a total of about 24 people who have signed up. This is a rather new store. So how would I create a simple segment where I want to divide that entire list I have into subscribers and customers? Before I tag anybody, I would need to make sure that I have a new segment. So click on new segment. I want that segment to match a particular criteria before I even go tag them. So contacts match all of the following conditions. If you look down here, you have e-commerce as a category. So I have orders, click on order. Order is at least one. And I would want to preview my segment now. If you notice, I have all these customers who at least made one order, totaling zero, of course, because these were free products that I gave away. So I have this small list and I can call it a segment. Now customers and save it. So now I want to go to tags. So I will want to click on manage contacts, click on tags. I will want to say create tag, right? I would want to name them like that so that I know that these are the guys who downloaded my free product. And I want to apply this particular tag to those people that I have recently segmented. So first again, I would go back to segments. 
So these are just tags and I can have as many tags applied to each individual sign up on my list. So I created one tag now. I have a segment called customers. I'll click on that. Now, if you can imagine what I'm doing, I have one segment called customers, but I could have multiple tags applied to that same segment, right? So I would want to choose select visible, all of them. I add a tag. It says free download customers. I've added that tag to all of these people so I know and I can label them as such. So that's how you apply tags to a particular segment inside MailChimp. Now you can also add more tags to the same list. I'll show you an example. All these people are selected as you can see. I can click on add or remove tags. I can click on trade show leads. And now even that tag is being applied to this same list. I have one segment but I've applied multiple tags to that segment of customers. So I can have more granular control now. When I send out a campaign, I can actually choose to include or exclude certain tags so that the precise set of people receive a precise set of emails from me. And that's the whole idea about tags. I hope that helps. I'll see you in another video. That